Microsoft have released an official build of Teams for Linux. At this point, it's just in a preview, but it's usable and they've provided both a dev package and an RPM package. So I thought I'd try it out in a virtual machine and I would try and take a bit more of a look around at this, would show you some bits of this, but this is the corporate version I've logged into for me. So in order to do that, I would have to uh, be redacting a lot of information and that's just gonna take a long time to do. And, and I don't know, I'd rather just kind of have a talk about this. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a huge amount of time this week. I've been so bloody busy at work and honestly, if I look like I'm half asleep, that is because I've been putting in a lot of long hours, it seems like. Anyway, the preview release of Teams running in an Ubuntu Unity desktop. And first thing I have to say is that styling looks horrific. Why do you have to bring in your own custom styling, Microsoft? Every single application I've used in Linux obeys the desktop or is more like forced to use the styling of the desktop. But I see they're trying to go for the Windows method of just try and make the taskbars whatever you like. Yes, why not have whatever you want on it? Let's have no consistency at all. And yes, I'm going to be moaning about themings like I do always with Linux distribution reviews. But anyway, that's kind of about as far as I'll say, other than having your close, minimize, and maximize buttons on the wrong side of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is what you've done, isn't it? Anyway. So I've not tried out the video calling feature or the meetings feature. So and I've not done those. That's not something I can try right now. But I've looked around at the rest of it, and it's pretty much like it would be using the internet version. Speed is about as on par as using the web browser. It's kind of just what it feels like. It feels like I'm using a web interface. You can look around at other apps for this. Um, and it's not really something I've tried. I, I guess I'm probably like the worst person to review this because I don't really use Teams enough and I don't use the, I don't use the client on my Windows machine at work, so. Yeah, what do I get? Other than having all these things in one place, like I can access my files, that would be like accessing my OneDrive. I don't really want to show you that because again, it shows too much detail of where I work. While I was looking around for some more information on this Linux build, I came across this, a snap of Teams for Linux, an unofficial Microsoft Teams for Linux. I thought, oh, let me throw that on as well. Let me have a look at that. And how does it look? <laughs> well, for starters, it respects the styling of the desktop. So top marks there. Performance wise, I'd say that is at least on par or maybe slightly better than the Microsoft build. I've still got access to the same stuff, the different apps that I can access. So yeah, what am I missing? Ah, yes, there's a couple of things. I had to read the uh, information on GitHub but for they said, they've only got the US dictionary enabled on here and you have to go and manually enable the camera. And I should have pointed out this is an Electron build. So yeah, they've basically made Teams work in Electron. So I know I'm meant to be talking about a Microsoft product in this video, but I know I deviated instead and we looked at an unofficial one. <laughs> I noticed you still have the same warnings there, your analytics and whatever else they're going to do, but uh, I noticed with the Microsoft build, the official build, they say your status is set to do not disturb, which I have, but there's no such warnings on the unofficial build. Hey, just kind of keeps things tidier. I know I'm set to do not disturb because I don't want to be disturbed at, uh, what is the time? Come up to nearly nine o'clock in the evening. So yeah, and yeah, I just had to minimize that because it decided to log me out and uh, show the federated page for where I work. So yeah, great. Thanks, uh, official build. That is something I notice it does log me out rather frequently and I do get asked to log in moving to different apps here. So that may not necessarily be a criticism against Microsoft, but more how we've set up our multi-factor authentication or our overall authentication with Azure. It's nowhere near as bad as that in the office, but I'm not in the office and I'm using a Linux system instead of Windows. That problem could be on our end, so that's not a criticism against Microsoft. 
But anyway, this video is more to say that this uh, Teams build for Linux is out. So yeah, if you're a Teams user and you want to use Linux, then yeah, give it a shot. Otherwise, move along. Well, thanks for watching. See you all later.